Hey guys, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed video. Still in the recording session with no voice audio. This time, however, I have done some voiceovers. Once again, guys, I am really sorry. Be sure to like and subscribe so you do not miss any of my Assassin's Creed videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day. I'm going to be honest, at this point in the recording, I was quite confused because I have no idea who this character is whatsoever. But we quickly find out... The old classic Animus. Just like all the Assassin's Creed's before. Oh, and I was very annoyed at the fact and confused at the fact that the game actually had AirPods. Actually has. In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. And there's also a question about in fact, that's Sean, right? Is it? It's been a very long time since I played Assassin's Creed 2, but it seems like the exact same person. What on earth? Okay, that I forgot happened. <laughs> How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Du, 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 du. Who's that? Who is it? a long way from home, Eivor. Oh, God. Mm. Oh. But to be honest, when I was playing this, I kind of just wanted to get straight back to Eivor and go going to England. I kind of just tried to find my way out of this place as fast as I could. So I just really wanted to get back to Eivor and the story. Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really not the biggest fan of the whole... No, it's not that I'm not the biggest fan of the whole Templars and Assassin's story. It's the fact that... I want I, what I just want is the story based in the animus. I'm not bothered about anything that happens outside the animus. That happens in the like the modern world. I just kind of want to see everything that happens in the animus, and that's it. And just have that story. Love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Like, I genuinely wouldn't mind just to like forget about all the Abstergo and all that all that jazz, and just stick with the actual. What happens in the animus? I'm not going anywhere. Like all the Evo stuff, or not all yet. the Ezio stuff, or okay, I can't even remember any of those. Right? Okay, that shows how how big of a fan I am of Assassin's Creed. Oof. Mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Love. True British guy, hey, right there. Sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Oh. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. I Even really like win, Sean's voice. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, it's, you can jump back in. It's really close to Stephen Merchant. 
Not quite close enough for it to be like Wheatley kind of level, but I don't know. Something about it. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Hey. Is she just gonna Layla? keep staring at that okay. thing, or is she gonna actually like say something? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can. No, come and... I want to hear it. All right then, Moody Cow. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that message led us here, to this place, to a Norse grave in North America. How on so earth? Those phones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. How on earth did Eivor get from England to North America? What the hell is he doing in North America? I died, and now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. When I first heard this, I thought it sounded like Bazim uh, or Bazim, whatever is it, Bazim, I think. What are the, the assassin guy? Pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, by the way, to get around the. Uh, the whole no commentary thing with my uh, audio going wrong. By the way, I have completely fixed that now. I use GeForce Experience and I've, re I've changed my input device to be my mic. Um, I'm just voicing over on my recording software, uh, my editing software. But here we are, England, 873CE. I was also quite confused at why King Harold's flags are... Uh, Alongside our raven one, but I guess we just use the ships. I guess I don't know. Our new home, not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. All you see here is Saxon territory. How amazing does this game look? Genuinely. Like, don't get me wrong. Right, I should probably be quiet for this bit. Sorry. Taking your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. They must think the same of us. Look how amazing this game looks in England. Especially compared to Norway. Everything was just bland in Norway. It was just snow and crap. But over here it's like greenery, trees, actual like rivers and stuff with boats with colour and stuff. Like, the actual contrast of all the colours just looks amazing. This is the best looking game that I have played in an incredibly long time. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. <laughs> are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? God. Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. I, I remember at this point I was talking about how the I don't really know much about this game before playing it. I only really know that um you get your own like settlement and I'm guessing that's well I was guessing that that's what I'm going towards now to find my own settlement area and well uh, yes that is what I was doing we must remove it before passing on sorry I, I just completely cut that off it's too thick for access but there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp I will go and I will be right behind you no that you stay here should trouble come our way I want you defending the ship a good idea Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. Cheeky git. My ba basically my plan here was to just sneak past everyone and then I'll go and um I'll go and drop that chain down into the into the lake so that we can just pass through. We'll see how that goes now. Okay, I just spent five minutes I figuring out how to put my hood up. Cause I'm an idiot. And let's go in. Let's see how this stealth goes. Oh, 
Not very well. Yep, not very well. Anyway, let's get back to it. There we go, we can now get the ship across the water and onto the other side of the river. Right then, I spent the next 10 minutes or so sailing down the river, hearing some nice little dialogue. Honestly, not much of it was very important. He just kind of like telling random stories, talking about what they want to do. But this is where we are thinking about setting up camp. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Here is supposed to be the army of Ragnar's sons, I think. And uh, they're supposed to welcome us with open arms and we'll be the yarl of this new town and all that all that jazz. But that's clearly not the case. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, just they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. Ooh. Kind of hope it's the second one. We already know it's going to be the second one. I already know, and I'm pretty Why sure, let's man? be honest, you they already speak know. speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Hey, oh, what are you trying to chat? You got this. You got this, Sigurd. You keep walking into the side of the boat. Well done. Ooh. Ooh, it's fighting time. Oi, what's All right, this? Then. A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways. Why's he got a northern accent? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. A bit rude, isn't he? Move along, pagan. Oh. Spare yourselves a slaughter. Fighting talk. Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get to fighting. You have what you wish to be for, fair, Dad. looking back at it, after playing the game a little bit more, I should have used my abilities a lot more earlier on. Like there, I should have used the Predator, uh, no, uh, multi, multi-shot one. That'd have been really useful. Like killing all of those, no, maybe not killing all, but dealing a hell of a lot of damage at once to multiple enemies. It's been really useful. That sand attack kept messing me up. I was very confused of what on earth that was. I'm also starting to try to like figure out the combat a bit more. So when it comes up with like a red kind of a red symbol above the enemy's head, it means it's going to be an unblockable attack. So like, I think this guy does it in a sec. Like that. That, that's an unblockable attack. But I just parried his uh, move, which means I can stun him. Ooh, dirty stun. And this guy starts to annoy me. But I do like the fact that you can just quickly switch between like uh, shooting arrows and also going melee. It's a nice... Yikes. Wait, so what just happened? Anyway, it's a nice kind of like chain. It's a nice dynamic. Like you can choose whether you want to. You can choose whether you want to like play as an archer or as a nice mix of both, and where you can have it like actively switch between the two, which I do kind of like. Well, we uh. Have a look around, all of you. I want no more surprises. We cleaned them up rather right. fast, didn't we? I'll check the longhouse. Not done yet. Got to get my health back up, get some food. I apologise if these episodes are a bit boring. I'm trying to... I got two hours of recording where 
I don't have the uh, voice audio, but most of it's like kind of like side stuff, doing some more synchronization points. So I'll just cut all that out because it's kind of like pointless for you to watch, especially without audio. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dak, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. He's laughing you at need them. not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Hey, guys, how's That's it going? Right. I'm a stable hand. That's all. I keep horses and, well... I they don't sound like the so tell in the truth. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest speeder. But I ripped their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Dun 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 dun. Oops. You know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. Aww, From nice the look guys. of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? do, 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 do. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again. Somewhere. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to ask. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. I like Dag, Jan but I also think he's like an elf. Rowan, I am he's just Sigurd a big Jarl elf. Of Fornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. Right then. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. How do they know what that horn means? That confuses me. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. Randvi. You're doing a lot of work, Avo. Nice one, man. Just sat on the roof of the hammers, chilling. Hey, it's coming along nicely, though. Look at it. One day, it's going to be a big bustling town, this. Hey guys, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate the fact that you watch it regardless of the problems they have with the recording of it. I hope you still enjoyed the video. If you did, more episodes are on the way soon, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.